Hey guys, welcome. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to talk about symbolic relations and separation of symbols. Symbolic relations and separation of symbols in numerical analysis. So today we are going to have a lot of writings as we explain what it means symbolic relations and separation of symbols. So we start we start by saying difference formulas difference formulae can easily be established by symbolic by saying difference formula can be can easily be established by symbolic methods by symbolic methods using so we are going to have some operators having symbols so we have number one we have the shift the shift operator having a symbol of capital E then we have the averaging we have the averaging or the mean operator that is having a symbol of mu and in addition to the operator And to the addition of these two operators, that is the shift operator and the mean operator, or the averaging operator, we are going to have, this one is for forward, difference operator. We have, this is for backward, difference operator. Then we have this symbol here representing central difference operator. So we are saying that in, in symbolic relations and separation of symbols, we are going to use this these symbols that much. That is the shift operator having a symbol of capital E. The averaging of the mean operator mu that is the, its symbol then we have this one which is the forward difference operator and then we have this symbol here for backward and this one for central so we are going to say today we are going to have a lot of writing as we explain so we say the averaging operator mu we call this symbol mu that is defined is defined by the equations this mu is defined by the equation we have mu y r this is the operation is equals to a half into y r plus one over two plus y r minus one over two then we say that the shift we want to 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 use the two symbols that is the shift and the mean operator or the averaging operator so we are saying that the shift operator we are just stating we are starting to state e is defined is defined by the equation is defined by the equation we have e that is e the shift operator having an operation here y r is equals to y r plus one we will understand as we go by this one which shows that the effect that the effect of e that is the shift operator of e is to shift is to shift is used to shift the functional 
value y r to the next higher is used to shift this is the this is the functional value and we're saying that this shift operator is shows the effect that the effect of e is to shift the functional value y r to the next higher value the next higher value y r plus one are we together and a second equation with e gives a second equation with e gives we have e squared let me show you how it shifts so we have e squared we have e squared the functional value y r is equals to how can we write this one so we have e into bracket e y r is equals to e y r plus one is equals to y r plus two you see when we, we square e we get a new value then since it was r it has shifted the functional value to plus one then it has shifted again the functional value y r to plus two so that way we are calling it a shift operator so we continue so and in general and in general so we want to generalize e and y r in general e that is we're going to have e we have e to power n the functional value y r is equals to y r plus n so that is the general shift of e when you are using a shift operator e then we say it shows or it is now easy to derive a relation between it is now easy to, when we, after we've learned all these that how the averaging operator is defined how the shift operator is defined how the shift operator affects or shifts the functional value to, to a higher value and its general formula we can now say that it is easier now to derive a relation between between a forward difference and the shift operator one for we have we want to relate this we say this is a back forward difference operator and then we have e which is a shift operator for we have now let's write this formula down so we have forward difference operator y naught or the first degree is equals to y1 minus y naught is equals to the shift operator having a fun fun y naught minus y naught is equals to e minus 1 into bracket y naught that is when we, we make y naught to be the subject function subject value we have e minus 1 y naught so and hence and hence we say that the forward difference operator is equals to shift operator minus one or the shift operator is equals to one plus forward difference operator so we continue we continue by saying we can now express we can now express we can now express any higher order forward difference in terms in terms of the given function value of 
the given functional value so for example for example we can say that forward difference cubic y not or the third degree of difference is equals to shift operator minus one cubic y not this is from what we had here so we have y not is equals to e cubic minus three e squared minus three e minus one y not is equals to it is a continuation is, is equals to y cubic minus three y squared minus three y one minus y not so then we say that from the def definitions from the definitions above the following relation relations can easily be established so let's establish relations that is having we are going to to see how a shift operator is related to can be related to a forward difference can be related to backward can can be related to central difference operator so we have so we have uh, this is the backward difference operator is equals to 1 minus shift operator to the negative to power negative 1 then we have central difference operator is equals to e the shift operator to power half minus shift operator to power negative a half then we have we said this is the averaging operator mu is equals to a half a half always have this in mind a half then you have shift operator a half plus e to power negative a half then you can say that mu let's put that bracket here mu is squared is equals to one plus one over four central difference to power two that is when you you, you square you square this mu you'll get this so this is the final proof for this one when you square this one you get this one and then we have we have the forward difference is equals to the backward difference multiplied by shift operator is equals to the central difference shift operator 1 over 2 so we are going to, to have a short and b so i hope you've understood of for example we started by stating the operators here and then we defined some of them like the averaging operator we defined the shift operator then we saw how the shift operator affects a functional value a functional value yr then we came up with a general equation for shift and the functional value of y and then we we related the shift operators and the functional values and the and the backward and the forward and the central or difference operators and we came up with these relations here so let's write a small and b up or a point to note point to note we say that the equations equations this is the forward difference operator is equals to shift operator minus one or shift operator is equals to one plus forward difference does not have this in mind does not mean that the operation does not mean that the operation e and forward difference have any existence existence as separate entities 
these two relations does not mean that the operation E, that is the shift and the forward difference, have any existence as separation entities. So it merely, merely means or implies, it implies that the effect, that the effect of the operator, of the operator E, on the functional value y naught is the same as that of the operator as that of the operator one plus forward difference on y naught. Hope you enjoyed.